Hey everybody and welcome back to Josh Leocha's video blog. Today we're going to be talking about how the market is shifting and the things that are being talked about out there may not be true. So we're going to talk about the four myths about selling a home today that just aren't true. Stay right here. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So we've all read the news, we've all seen this, the, the headlines, we've all talked to friends, and maybe we've even experienced it ourselves. The market has been crazy all of 2021. You've heard all these crazy stories about prices going way over and houses selling in minutes, and those things all did happen. However, we're starting to see signs that the market is shifting. So where we are right now is that sellers are still thinking that the market is like it was two, three or four months ago. And we need to start shifting our mindset as home sellers to start getting ready for the new real estate market. Things happen very quickly. So an article just came out from Realtor.com talking about the four things that aren't true about selling a home today. And people are talking about these things still like they're happening. So I want to dissect this. I want to go through it. And I want to talk all about it so we can understand what's real and what's not and what you need to understand about selling a home in today's market. All right, number one, you don't need to renovate your home. While sometimes this is true, it's not always the case. And certainly as the market shifts, making sure your home is ready for the market is going to be very important. Now, I'm not talking that you need to do full kitchens and bathroom renovations unless your home really does need it. But the market has shifted so that not just anything is going to sell just because you put it on the market and place a price on it. Everything you do to prepare for the market and bring your home to market is still very important. Even at the hottest peak of this market, my clients are still taking action to ensure that their home looked the best and we maximize value. So even in a hot market, it's very important to take action. And now that things are starting to shift a little bit and cool off, it's even more so to be mindful about preparing your home correctly. Okay, number two, you can place any price on your home and it's gonna get $100,000 over list price. Again, not really ever a truth. You still always needed to price your home correctly. You allow the market to drive up the home with maybe multiple offers, and then you could justify that value to the bank or the bank's appraiser. Now, as the market shifts, people are thinking, well, we still want to shoot for the moon and maybe overprice it and we can come down. That is not the, that is not the best idea ever, not even in a hot market. What you want to do is ensure that you're pricing the property correctly and exactly where it needs to be in the marketplace. Almost compelling, not just competitive. What you wanna do is drive activity and drive showings to the property and hopefully that there's still some of those you know, over, over bidding and multiple offer situations happening out there, but pricing is still imperative. You cannot just push the price so high because you hope to get that number. You need to be very realistic and as the market shifts into the fall, late fall and early winter and then into the deep parts of the winter, it's even more importantly to be pricing correctly. So make sure that you're listening to your advisor and you're pricing the home exactly where it needs to be. Number three, sellers don't need to market their home or even so agents don't need to market their home anymore because things are just selling. Again, something that can't be farthest from the truth. If you list your home with one iPhone photo of the front of your house for a significant or enhanced value because you believe you're going to get it, trust me, consumers aren't gonna react kindly to your property. Just like in number one about preparation or renovating or doing things to get the house ready, marketing the property and bringing the home to that market is imperative. So making sure your agent is taking professional photography on your property, making sure that it's going to all the places it needs to go to on a website, social media wise, uh, guerrilla marketing, just plain old mailing marketing, going on having open houses, knocking on doors. Your agent should be in all those things to maximize exposure, maximize activity, and again, hopefully create a multiple offer situation for you. So just throwing it on willy-nilly and hoping that the sign and the price is going to sell it with one picture is not something that's real. And again, as the market shifts, even more important for you to pay attention to. Okay, and the last one, number four. In a bidding war, you always take the highest offer. Now, that one is probably the funniest one to me because almost every bidding war I've been in, or at least 80% of them in the last 12 months, we almost always never take the highest offer. Terms and conditions 
risk factors, risk tolerance for the seller, all those things come into play when you're in a multiple offer situation. So if you're blessed with having more than one offer to look at and you have the time to digest and look through one, two, uh, two three, four, five, six offers, make sure you understand the whole picture. Make sure your agent is explaining to you the benefits or the negatives of each offer money down, the financing strength of a buyer, the terms in regards to are they asking for a home inspection or not, are they waiving their inspection, if they're doing an inspection is there an inspection aggregate amount of items that may come up that they're willing to accept and not back out of the deal. We talked about even uh, contingency waivers of um, home sales or appraisals or things like that. So you need to look at the whole picture just because it's the highest price but it may be the worst financing contingency or it's the highest price and it may have the most terms and contingencies that could potentially kill the deal. So make sure that your advisor, your agent is going through the offers with you, going through all the details of the good, the bad and the ugly so that you can make a very well educated decision. And I will tell you four to five times the highest price is not always the best offer. So that's it. Those are the four myths that I wanted to address and make sure that you as the consumers understand where things are at. Don't forget, you need to remember that this market is shifting. And if you're thinking about selling your home, it's still a great time. Inventory is still very low, right? We still have very small amounts of property on the market available for sale. And all that equity that has been created over the last two years or so is still there. You just may not see that chaos of 80 showings and 30 offers like you did at the beginning of the year. And that's okay. That's actually a good thing for the market where it's a little bit more balanced. So don't be afraid to ask any questions about today's video. If you have any thoughts in regards to any of the things we talked about or you want to question something, please reach out to me directly. Call the office, shoot me an email. I'm happy to chat anytime. We are always here for you. And as always, thank you for watching Josh Leoch's video blog. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.